The skill set without the mindset will leave you upset. And here's exactly why mindset is so important. Now, there's a lot of excuses or reasons that we give ourselves to not get started in property. Could be, I don't have the time to get involved right now. I don't have the money right now to actually make this work. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't have the right education. The market's going crazy. Interest rates are up. Section 21's going crazy and a hell of a lot more. And I don't know if you've seen this image before of a, a horse or an elephant that's tied to like this tiny picket in the ground or maybe you've seen an ant that's walking around and you circle chalk around them and it can't go past the barrier the true reason we don't end up moving forward the true reason we don't end up taking action is ourselves and our limiting beliefs Ultimately, we get in our own way and we stop ourselves from taking action. And what you need to realize, and maybe write this down, the only person getting in the way of your success is you. So let's break this down step by step. Too young, too old, no money, no education, and see how we can overcome them and shift our mindset. Not a fan of talking about myself, but I do think it gives an opportunity for you to understand where I'm coming from. So I'm 30 years old now. I started and bought my first property when I was 19. My background is very blue collar. I didn't have an education in property. I didn't have a lot of time because I started whilst I was at university and I had no money whatsoever. As I said, bought my first one, got screwed over by somebody in my first ever property, which was number 36 Burdett Street. Fast forward to today, I've done hundreds of property deals, nearly a thousand deals, done over 80 million pounds worth of property, been in articles, run my own education company, and obviously this YouTube channel. And hopefully that is not to impress you, but to impress upon you that actually nothing gets in the way of success as long as you have the mindset in place to then take the action and get results. I don't have enough time is the single biggest excuse or reason that I hear from people. Now, if I go back to when I was 19, I bought my first property. I was at uni full time. I was working three jobs to pay to my for my rent, which is not cheap in London, and help my mom out as well. And I still managed to find the time for my main priority. Fast forward to today, I mentor people and I educate hundreds, if not thousands on a yearly basis that aren't able to start their property businesses without my time. I'm able to do this YouTube channel, which by the way, takes a lot of time putting this content together and of course building up the business. And if I don't work on a day to day, then people don't have their jobs to come back to on a weekly or monthly basis. So what you need to realize is there's 168 hours in my week. I can guarantee if you're watching this, you too have 168 hours. Warren Buffett, one of the most successful people in the world, also has 168 hours. And so the next time that you say, I don't have time, instead pause for a second and say, I don't prioritize. And what you're doing right now potentially is positive procrastination. You're fooling yourself that watching this video is a step towards your success. And I'm sorry, it's not unless you're taking notes and you're going to actually implement this. But otherwise, it's positive procrastination. We always have time for an extra episode on Netflix or Love Island, Stranger Things, or whatever it is. Instead, refocus, recalibrate, reprioritize what you actually want from life and allocate your time accordingly. I don't have the money is the second most common excuse that I hear all the time. But the truth is, your network is your net worth. You are not limited by your bank account. Think about this logically. Yes, if I fast forward to today, my business businesses are making a decent amount of money. But at the start, I had no money whatsoever. I had to earn money by exchanging my time for value like we all do, right? But also, I would raise finance externally. And as Tony Robbins says, when you don't have the resources, you've got to get resourceful. So pause the video for a second and write down just five names you can think of that might have a bit of money that might want to invest in you. Raising a million pound is so much more simple than you think. You know, it's not getting a million pounds from somebody. Maybe it's 50,000 from 20 people. And once you've got that base, even 100,000 is enough to start aggressively building your portfolio. So don't be limited by your own bank account. Think beyond that. Have a bigger mindset. Get resourceful and understand that your network 
is your net worth. I'm too old, I'm too young, I'm a man, I'm a woman, I've got this background, I've got that background, all of the other excuses that we give ourselves. And ultimately, you're correct. People do have judgments. People will choose not to work with me because of my blue collar background. I'm a bit rough around the edges, let's face it. There are sexist people. There are racist people. There are ageist people. That's the world we live in. I'm not condoning it. It's horrible, but it is the way the world is. Does that mean that every single human being will think that way? Absolutely not. Let me give an example. When I was younger, I was 19 when I started in property. I sounded like a 12 year old girl and had about zero facial hair whatsoever. So I look like a 12 year old as well. And ultimately, my big worry is nobody's going to take me seriously. I look young. I am young. Why would somebody invest in me when I am this age? Well, let me tell you, one of the first major investors, which was around half a million pounds into my business and everything else, invested in me, he was an older chap, about 68, invested in me because I was younger. And when I asked him, well, why did you do that? He said, well, because you're young, I get to live vicariously through you. And what you need to understand is the one thing you hate about yourself is the one thing that's great about yourself from somebody else. The fact that I was young, energetic, ambitious, vibrant, tenacious is exactly what he couldn't be at that age. And what he could do is lend his money into something. I could lend my time into something and the mutually beneficial relationship started. So have a good look at yourself. Understand that there are some shit people out there that will think negatively about you just for who you are. But so what? For every one of them, there's a thousand people that love you for who you are, would invest in you for who you are, and you're one of them away from investing in your financial future. The market just isn't right. We've had Brexit, the votes, conservative referendums, interest rates going up, the Russia conflict in Ukraine, petrol prices through the roof, COVID happening, cryptocurrencies going up, interest rates going up again, and the market's crashing. It is just the worst time to invest right now. The funny thing is, the recession is coming. And people have been saying that since I was 19 years old, genuinely, every single year since I was 19, which is 11 years ago, people have been saying, now is an awful time to get in property. Now is an awful time to get in property. Section 21. The truth is, you cannot predict or time the market perfectly. Instead, you have to understand some years are going to be better than others. But can you genuinely say whether the market's going to be 100% higher in five years time or 50% lower in five years time? No. You can have a good guess of the 18 year property cycle says it's going to be the end of 2026 before we see a correction. But ultimately, it's time in the market instead of time in the market. And you need to understand that property is a long term investment. Property prices have been measured since the doomsday book in 1086. And we've got around a thousand years of evidence of property doubling every 10 years. And whilst the past doesn't guarantee the future, it is a fair indication. So stop waiting for the perfect storm, the perfect scenario, because it doesn't exist. The best time to invest was 20 years ago, but the second best time is today. And finally, I don't know what I'm doing. Well, there is no excuse. The resources that are out there, maybe you could have used that excuse 50 years ago, but it's just not the case anymore. This YouTube channel, which I'm hoping you find helpful, by the way, if you do hit the subscribe and notification bell, there's almost three hundred videos and I'm going to make three more every single week for as long as I possibly can. There are free resources and when you're ready and you've found the right person, you know the strategy you want to do, you can get paid for education, which costs a couple of grand to teach you how to make hundreds of thousands, if not millions down the road. There is just no excuse. Money is abundant. Time is abundant if you prioritize it correctly, and the education is abundant to help you get from where you are to where you want to get. So whether it's the time, the money, the self-belief, or anything else, I promise you, take a step outside of your comfort zone because everything you want is just outside of it. But you need to take the action. You need to take the step today. Ultimately, the skill set without the mindset will leave you upset. Hopefully, this video has helped you take control of the mindset. It's now your job to get the skill set.
to get the results and start taking action. And by the way, if you are limited on time, put APG in the comments. I've got a company that helps build portfolios for people with 100 grand or more. And if you have got a bit of time, 10 hours a week to invest in this, put education in the comments and I will help you develop through a strategy so you can start building this up. There truly are no excuses. I hope this has been valuable. If you're new to the channel and you want to learn more about mindset, business, and property investment, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. And hey, it would help me tremendously if you did get value to likely destroy the like button before watching the next video.